At 20 years old, I started to go into art school. I wanted to be a commercial artist or a graphic designer. Went out and started looking for a job. My first gig was mowing lawns, um, actually for a school district in the area I was living in. When I was out mowing these lawns, it kind of got my eyes on the hardscapes and other parts of the landscapes. I wasn't getting any satisfaction out of a mowed lawn. I kind of wanted to go in, use my hands and come away with a finished product is, is what I thought I wanted to do with myself. At a very young age, I got plugged in with a group of guys who had been building things for 15 years and they basically taught me everything I know. And the proof was in the pudding, right? We were getting all the big jobs. And throughout the course of even that time, it was always awkward when, when a hardscape design would come in and I would have a sense that it could be built a little bit better or things could have been thought about a little bit differently, but I wasn't in a position to change that yet. I was a hardscape foreman. I was simply handed the design from the designer and I went to implement the build. I rolled with that for probably, you know, 10, 12 years of my career. biggest thing was that this company did for me was they let me on the inside. They seen I had a skill set of craftsmanship and a design eye and they let me on the inside if you will and that's where it, that's where it all came full circle. I started drawing again which was my original passion since I was you know six years old. As I drew it I was building it right. I think that's a little bit of what separates me from from other people is I have half of my career in the field and then you know the other half of my career in the office designing things. I had to make sure my projects were being put in correctly because I was the salesman, I was the designer in the beginning of the conversation and the relationship with the client who told them what they were gonna get, who drew the detailed hardscape, who they bought the package from. Then I would hand that off and I didn't feel like it was ever getting put in exactly with the craftsmanship that I was expected or used to from where I came from. And I talked to my family and I went out there on my own and for the next four months, I worked by myself piecing together a 2,600 square foot pool deck. So I'm a hardscape foreman, I think I made it. I'm a designer, I think I'm at the top of my career. I went on my own, I'm this is it, this has to be everything. I'm on my own designing and building. I land the poolscape, it just keeps evolving from there. Here we are five years later, getting yourself on social media kind of sunk into me and, and made me realize that my knowledge and expertise needed to be shared with others. Which brings us to hardscapementor.com. The next evolution of my career, I'm gonna share with you guys all my expertise and knowledge of what I've been doing for the past 22 years. Luke Parmenter is my partner with this. He's gonna share his experience and knowledge with the marketing side of things. Inevitably, we're gonna grow your hardscape business, we're gonna grow your mindset, and you're gonna be able to take on leads and design and build some distinctive products, and we're gonna be right here by your side to help you.